So we'll learn how to model a paper clip. If uh, using SolidWorks, if you need to, uh, let's say from the top plane, bring um, a sketch, an image, you sketch first like I just did on the top plane, then you go insert, uh, sorry, tools, sketch tools, sketch picture, tools, sketch tools, sketch picture and you give him after your uh, JPEG or PNG and as you can tell it brings the image so I can say OK if you want to resize you can just double click here and now we could roughly trace this image so line tool and here we'll do um, a fillet so we can just go roughly like this Voila, L to finish the drawing, and uh, you could escape like this. Voila. If you want to get rid of it, it's here, the image. So you can go delete. And now we're left with the sketch. So let's reopen the sketch. Here, for the cross section to go around, we'll have to do some fillet. So much bigger, uh, maybe even one, maybe even two. Let's try that. Uh, I think one is too big. Let's try it. Yeah, so 0.8. Voila. Uh, OK, the next one we can do 0.7. And the following one we could do point five five. Perfect. So you have to remember that there's not much room here. So we're going to do a second sketch perpendicular. So usually I recommend to start on the center so you can tell where this is. Um, because now if I go front or right, I can tell I'm a little bit off. So I drew this a bit further. I could drag this back. That's one way of doing it. Or we can just shift click the line and the point and we can go feature plane and this will make a plane perpendicular to that point. If I would have started at the center, I would not have to do this but here I did not. Um, sketch on that plane, Control 8 and uh, it should be this point but double check, yeah, this one. So circle now and we can make a little circle like this. Escape um, and we can go sweep the cross section is this and the path is this one. Now this is a great method if you're gonna have um, a non-circular uh, path. Let me show you. Uh, actually not this one, we're gonna... this one because here we can actually almost do any shape you want So I'll do a dent here, trim, and I'll go like this. Now if I escape, as you can tell, the new shape worked. But usually you don't have that level of detail in a paper clip. So what I could do, it's uh, I'll delete the sweep and show you another way of doing it. It was actually much easier, especially if you know that it will be a circular. So you only need one path, you don't even need that plane. And you can go sweep 
and you just say circular profile. Then you give him the diameter. I'm really not sure. We'll try. Path. Yeah. So 0.2 might be a hair too big, uh, but we'll say okay. Voila. If we are going to do a render of this, and then you might want to do a tiny fillet uh, here. And those ones should be pretty small. Maybe even smaller than this. Actually, I kind of like the blending here. Uh, usually you would not get a weld here, but you get the point. Um, we could bring this into Moto, but if you want to do a s quick steal, you can go View Modify, Rotate about Scene 4, so that, that's good. Uh, that's for rendering. And you can also do here Perspective, to get some perspective. And now that we have this, we can bring some light. So I'll go Scene. Uh, just basics and just the regular one double click then I'll find a, an angle that I like more like here uh, and finally we'll give it some sort of a chrome metal chrome uh, this one voila and we'll press render tool um, if you don't get this, you have to go Tools, Add-ins. You only have to do this once and enable Photo View with a light version of Modo. And then we can go Preview Window. So here is a ref preview, uh, so a Photo View 360 or Modo. To get the final, uh, click on Final. And now Modo kicks in. You could also save this part and open Modo. So here is the final render using Modo uh, in SolidWorks and um, we could make it glow with the bloom uh, there's different things we could do here and we could just save it as a JPEG or something else 